par for her. Not a good start for Yuka Sasso. Double bogey, bogey over the first couple of holes, but she's turned it around well since then. Well, with a little friendly bounce off the collar there, a little membership kick, and she'll leave herself just a tiny little kick in. And it, this was another birdie at nine, which made it four birdies, two bogeys, and a double. So Downhill as well. Yesterday, I think that the one of the big keys for for the players that had good scores. Was... This is breaking off the right for Yuko Sasso. Back up the hill. Yeah, fantastic. Made the most of her length there, played the hole beautifully. 99 yards, playing 185. It's a tough pin today. There's no way you can really miss this. Oh, it needs to get down on that lower level, isn't nope. She's going to have that fast part. So Sasso now for the birdie at the 14th. Difficult one down the hill. That looked relatively easy compared to what it was. That's pretty good. Yeah. 61 yards to go, a much nicer angle. You need this to drive up the hill. Well played there. Fair enough. Just graze the uh, the right edge there. Can't see this being more than a solid nine iron for Sasso, but she needs all of it. Could be good. That could be good. It's right on yeah. the edge. Now it's easy. Yeah. It's kind of feast or famine on this hole from what we've seen. Yeah. yeah. The thing about this golf course, it, it makes you hit the shot. And Brees, a long iron it is. And she's asking for it to go as she wants to make sure it gets past the corner of the tree line so she doesn't have to come up over the trees on the right that, that is so, Titicum was second on that list she was yeah another birdie for Yuka Sasso Yuka Sasso has to tie the lead. You've got two big hitters, six under par. That's Patty Tavatanikit and Yuka Sasso, both major champions. Positioning themselves really quite nicely. So far this week, we haven't seen any of these par fives really moved up.